it's Nell and I'm hanging out in my front yard because today I'm going to talk about replenishing a gravel landscape. When I moved into this house, the front yard was Bermuda grass, it had some lavender, valerian, agapanthus, I tore that all out and I wanted to do something that was much lower maintenance than a lawn and I didn't want to use the water because even though we're in an extreme drought now in California, it's always been dry in, this, in the summer and I really didn't have any need for a lawn. So out it came, but I still wanted to have green. So the solution was to do the middle part, the flow of the garden in gravel or pebble. Every few years you need to replace it, you need to replenish it, I should say, not replace it. Every two to four years, depending on your climate, it needs to re be replenished because it sinks. And this actually had some bare spots in it and my house is for sale. I've only replenished it one time since I redid the lawn and uh, the garden and I think it was 2007 or 2008. So I've only replenished it one time. So. It was due for another topping off. So my neighbor, Modesto, who's a gardener, helps me with this project. And you will see the pebble coming in soon. It was half a scoop, which equaled a quarter of a ton, which is what I used, and it raised it up about an inch or two and uh, filled in all those, all those blank spots. And now the front yard looks great. So on to the project. And here's the pebble sitting in the front and it's about half a scoop. This is California gold and we're just about to spread it. So the pebble has gotten really low. There is actually a few bare spots showing. It's not too complicated. Just going to raise up the rocks. I'll first clean all the debris out then raise up the rocks and then and then just spread some new fresh pebble. And here's one of those spots where it's gotten really low. It's right at the front where, where you enter in the garden. See, there's the, there's the dirt below there. The pebble has been brought in and we'll probably actually bring a little bit more in and then we'll see um, how that goes. All right, a little more has been added in and now he's just raking it out to smooth it all. Just going in and adding a little bit more now. This is one quarter to one half inch. And then we replenished here too. This is three quarter to one inch on the edge that borders the driveway. It looks dusty because as you can see, the quartz stepping stones are all, are all tan where oh, they used to be gray. And now we're hosing it down a little bit to clean it off. Not too much because we have a drought here in California, so just enough to clean it. A couple of minutes of hosing down and some sweeping of the stones and it looks so much better. Here's the larger rock on the edge here. I'm gonna show it to you all cleaned off. And miracle of miracles for California, and especially in June, it rained the day after we put put the rock in the and the pebble so it's still a little bit wet but it really got rid of some of that dust all topped off and looking good I love it because I love the sound I love the color I love how it looks I just love everything about it and I love that I don't have to maintain it it's wonderful so I hope you have found this video helpful and I thank you so much for watching and please subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming your way. Now let's get out in the garden and make the world a more beautiful place. Bye!